Hey guys, welcome back to the Club Bacon, and today we're just gonna get straight into the final chapter of Battlefield 1's campaign. So, yeah, we're pretty much nearly done with this campaign now. Just gonna move that about. Okay. It's actually the first time I've done a recording for anything that isn't Minecraft unknown for a while. Because I've sort of... Last time I was recording Battlefield 1, I recorded it in bulk. Just uploaded like loads of videos at once, and I didn't upload a video of Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 1 last week. Because uh, instead I uploaded two episodes of Shaolin Shuffle so I could get Shaolin Shuffle done. So that I would have a free space to... Uh, a free space this week so that I could upload like Kino de Toten or something remastered like and also so that uh, it, a vast oh I'll mention in a minute never mind scorched sun-baked rocks beneath these endless dunes oil the lifeblood of our new mechanical century right okay for more than 400 years the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands Controlling all that's to be found here. So they're taking all the oil? Like the but Americans the did? the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Oh, Small bands Americans of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. So am I playing as this Fighting person? Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. So, okay. Written, In nothing the desert, is written. You rely on good planning. What? But you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train. I can't move. A most interesting piece of car. I can't move. Oh my god, finally I can move. Yeah, what I was saying is now that I'm two exactly two episodes behind from Infinite Warfare with Battlefield. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. The hell? Yeah, so now instead of uploading one Battlefield and one Infinite Warfare, if I upload two Battlefield, I'll be on the same episode number as Infinite Warfare, which is also nearly finished now. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Huh, that's a good point. I don't want to crouch. Fuck off. You're dead. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Right, so gotta be stealthy, gotta be stealthy, going after this person, right here. You're dead! Anyone in this hut? Wow, I can throw casings again! Ooh, weapon chest. Oh, yes. Get me a Lewis. Kill everyone. I so shot that person in the head, but okay. Yeah, got myself a Lewis. Screw being stealthy. I got a Lewis. Thing is like the opposite of stealth. I'm pretty sure this gun is in uh, Call of Duty World War 2. So I heard. I can't wait for Call of Duty World War 2 to come out. It's gonna be like if Call of Duty did Battlefield 1 but in World War 2. I don't know. <laughs> it's an odd way of looking at it but yeah. 
Oh well, but nah, it's not quite like that. Because Call of Duty is better than Battlefield. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me with that. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of Battlefield. But, you know. It's all opinions, it's all opinions. Don't hate me for my opinions. So I don't hate you for yours. It's just I prefer Call of Duty to this game. And I died again. Well, I prefer this game to uh, Infinite Warfare, but I prefer Black Ops 3 over this game. So. Okay, so now I can move again. Use binoculars to spot enemies. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. I don't even care. I'm just gonna run. Damn it! He spotted me. In another life, I stealth killed you. In this life, I'm gonna steal your horse and run away. To freedom! Jump! Hey, where are all the houses? This is like that multiplayer level, but there used to be houses here. Ah, the British are coming. I hit him, right? And the thing is, it probably doesn't help that I'm not much of a multiplayer fan when it comes down to Call of Duty. I'm much more of a zombies player, which is part of the reason why I prefer Call of Duty. Because I'm not necessarily a big fan against playing against people, shooting at other people, purely because I'm, I'm pretty bad at it actually, I'm pretty bad, that's, that's a big reason for it. I'm just running over everyone with my horse right now. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm not the best at shooting players. Does it just kill them instantly or something? Can I make my horse go faster? Damn it, my health is so low, I only just realized. Okay, let's go back to being stealthy. I mean, I really wanted to just run down the hill because I hated the whole stay still and use binoculars. Right, this this guy who's narrating right now, he's getting on my nerves because I have to wait for him to shut up so I can move. Oh really, most interesting? Do I have to hear about it every single time I die? Is it that interesting? A lone fighter, a lone fighter has the advantage of a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. <laughs> You're an idiot. The tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. Right, this guy's over here. How far does that throw? Will he turn around? Don't turn around, don't turn around. Damn it, you're an idiot. Um... See, that one was behind you. How does he not see these? I'm literally throwing them. I'll throw one directly at him and see what happens. <laughs> he got on red alert, but I killed him before he could do anything about it. Uh, right. Right, this guy's feeling suspicious. 
Let's lure him to right there. Get him in the box. Shoot him up. Shoot him up. Nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna jump off the ledge and kill him. Come on, I'm being stealthy. Being stealthy. Being stealthy. I didn't realize there was actually a guy right next to him. Being stealthy. Being stealthy. Still, no one suspects a thing. He, if he had shot then, they would have, but they didn't. Being stealthy. I'm going to kill you the second you come around this corner, by the way. Being stealthy. Steal. Ping. That was a pinging noise. Wonder what that could be. Come on. Is this like a type of Mauser? I'm pretty sure this is a like Mauser with a long barrel, it looks like. Are you gonna move? Seriously? They, uh, I, did I throw a penny directly at him or something? Go away. Stupid. Stealthy. Still taking it stealthy. No one knows where I am. No one suspects a thing. You can just go away. Just die now. Just die now. I probably am. Go home. Oh my god, go away. Why does someone have to always go on that turret? Did I kill everyone? Did I actually kill everyone? Okay. That's nice. Uh, okay, let's go in here, I guess. Search for code book. Ah, the book. Lovely. Uh, it's over. It's over, is it? Well, you did not think. We would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. The hell was that? Oh, have I got a friend? Have I got friends? Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. Yeah. So who might you? I'm spooky ghostly. How enchanting you are, my dear. Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Right, okay. So you plan on killing me then, is it? Oh! Now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Ah! Soon there will be no so we basically got to take down the super train. But soon all that you know and all that you love will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Okay. Oh, come on. Wait, did I just cut his throat or did I cut his ear? from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. This game looks pretty good though. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train 
You would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? Ah. You can never stop the progress of machines!